this was the scene at Hayward Field as construction crews cleared bushes a few weeks ago around the edges of the stadium. The move to remove some of the iconic scenery that makes Hayward what it is has been cleared out in order to make way for temporary bleachers to accommodate bigger crowds at this summer's Olympic track and field trials. Seating capacity at Hayward Field is going to be about 16,500 during the trials. That's about 7,000 more than we typically have with the, the permanent seating that we have in the West and East grandstands. So it really is a significant increase for us. Although it comes at a cost of the venue's beauty, the overall goal is to make sure that as many people as possible have the opportunity to appreciate the spectacle that the Olympic trials brings. Um, as we were preparing for hosting the 2012 Olympic uh, team trials for track and field, we really wanted to make sure that as many fans as possible were able to experience the meet. only happens every four years, and we're really excited here in Tracktown, USA to be able to host it. As you can see here, the construction of the temporary bleachers at Hayward Field is nearly finished, and it will certainly be done by the beginning of the Olympic trials at the end of next month. And organizers are hopeful that the construction will be done by the start of the Prefontaine Classic, which is here at Hayward Field on June 2nd. Reporting for Oregon News, I'm Eric Gunderson.